you guys. I'm here with Kennerdale High School head coach uh, Christopher Grub. Um, tough loss for you guys today. You lost 35 to 31, but I guess the good news is you're three and three, so you're still in the thick of things. Um, what's the difference between this year's team and teams from the past? Because there seems to be a lot of fight in these teams. I mean, definitely uh, our buy-in with our young guys and our older, you know, senior uh, leadership does an incredible job for us Certainly. to set the tone for that. Um, you know, previous years that I've been here, you know, there's been a lot of me, 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 and um, you know, we don't have that on our team. You know, we're distributing the ball a lot around a lot of different guys and getting guys involved and guys are bought into our system and it's pretty exciting to see. You know, tonight is a very tough loss and you know super frustrating, but you know, we gotta move on and we gotta learn from it. Hopefully we can come back next week strong. There was a lot of fast paced scoring in that first half on both sides. Was that kind of the game plan for you guys today or was it just more well, you know, yards? No, to be honest with you, I didn't know that we were gonna get those types of chunk yards. I mean it's great when we do that offensively, that means we drew them up correctly. Um, defensively we gave up some big running lanes. Uh, we made some adjustments at, at halftime and then you know we put a lot of pressure on our DBs and our you know, secondary to try and make some plays and we let you know a couple plays get behind us and uh, that was the change of the game. Yeah, I was just about to say, speaking of the secondary, the pass defense wasn't really on today. Um, how do you go about fixing that in practice, or is it just like a team-by-team -team thing where some teams will throw more than the other? Well, I mean, uh, you know, this week was definitely the first week that we saw a team throw the ball, mm -hmm. you, know, more, you know, more towards a 50-50, you mm -hmm. know, um, in terms of run-pass ratio. Um, so we did our best that we could. You know, our, some of our guys got to step up. We didn't step up, but... Um, they'll definitely learn from them. We have a lot of young guys over there on corner. We have a couple of our upperclassmen were banged up, had to t take them out. So putting younger blood in, and you know, it's a great learning opportunity. It just sucks that you know we came at the short end of the stick tonight. And I guess lastly, uh, your wife is expecting yes. another baby. This is what kid number two. This is kid number two. Yeah, um, yeah. Do any day. Yeah. I, I Very stressful. I always wonder when stuff like this happens. How do you, as a coach, focus on the game when something like that is, can happen at any? Well, the big thing for us is just planning. So you know, the guys know, our coaching staff knows that if I have to leave, I leave. Um, whether we're at practice or at a game, you know, I have my phone on me all the time. So I address officials, let them know I have that. Um, just to let them know that my wife is expecting. You know, she came to the game tonight, so that if something were to happen, I could, you know, get up and leave. Mm -hmm. And you know, I have 100 percent faith in the guys that I coach with. That you know, whether I'm here or not here, our kids are going to be still coached up, and um, hopefully, we're prepared to win the game that night. All right. So I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you again. Yep. Yeah, thank you, and good luck for the rest of the season. Yes, thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Chris Groove, Canada High School.